These days, most countries have understood that the quality of their schooling today is the strength of their economy and society tomorrow. So even while student numbers have been declining, spending per student has gone up. In 2013, countries spent 8% more per student than they did in 2008. Also, individuals are shouldering more of the burden for learning. You can see that most clearly at the university level where families and households now pay about 30% of the cost for higher education. Those countries that got the combination of income contingent loans and means-tested grants right have been able to leverage increased participation. But those countries that have not made financing accessible to students see that it's now the wealthiest, not the smartest, that get access to the best educational opportunities. But with tight budgets, Countries have to think harder about how to invest their money effectively. Over the last years, the most popular choice has been making classes smaller. 6% of spending has gone into this. But if you look at the best performing education systems, whenever they have to make a choice between a smaller class and a better teacher, they go for the teacher. They have made teaching financially and intellectually attractive and provide a work organization where teachers can advance in their careers. But the bigger challenge now is to make lifelong learning a reality for all. That's also in focus in the Sustainable Development Goals, which the United Nations have set for 2030. And Education at a Glance provides a first account of where the world stands against those targets. And it shows that the world is still a long way to go. Among the 35 OECD countries, only 12 meet at least five of the 10 targets that have been set for education.